Can you even take me seriously right now? Now close your eyes. You saw the title, you know why you're here, but since I love being dramatic, I thought that I would cover up my hair here and give you guys a little bit of my hair story, my hair timeline just for funsies before I do the grand reveal. Now, did I vlog me changing my hair? No. Should I have? Yeah, probably, but you know, my sister-in-law does my hair and there's something about getting your hair done where you get like real open and real personal and real chatty and I just didn't wanna have all that on camera, so you know, nobody's perfect, okay? But if you head over to my TikTok, I did make a really cute TikTok about my hair transformation, so if you wanna go over there and look at that, definitely do that, but let me just spin you a little tale of my hair story here. So when I was a little kid, when I was born, I had really, really like white blonde hair. I feel like a lot of white kids are like this. They're born with like this super white hair and as they get older, it kind of like morphs into like a lighter brown, darker brown style hair. That's definitely how I was. When I was younger, I had really light white blonde hair and as I started going through puberty my hair just started darkening up and eventually my natural hair color turned into like a light brown with a natural kind of golden pieces in it and I always was chasing that bottle blonde I always wanted super platinum hair I had platinum hair at my wedding I've had yellow hair I've had gold hair I've had hair with the roots grown out to here and over the past five years I've kind of been rocking that bleach blonde, ombre, shadow root type of look. And I've always, always, always wanted to switch up my hair and do something kind of crazy with the colors or just different, but I've always been too afraid and I always make excuses for myself. And I'm the queen of excuses when it comes to my hair. I'm always like, oh, my hair's too thick. Oh, my hair's too long. It'd be so much of a pain in the ass to change it. What if I don't like it? And the reality is that I've always just been scared and I don't know what it was maybe it's you know 2021 who knows what it is but I got inspired by a couple different people I will show their pictures here after I reveal my hair and I just took the plunge and I decided to make a transformation to my hair I'm really excited to share it with you guys I'm building it up really hard right now should I should I show you I have it pulled back and the shower cap over the top of it right now I look so nuts like, I'm, like, looking at myself in the monitor right now, and I'm like, girl, you look crazy. What are you doing right now? But before I show you my hair, I wanted to quickly just show you what is on my lip right now. It's, like, my new favorite nude lip combo. What I do is I take this Pat McGrath lip liner. This is the Sublime Permagel Ultra Lip Liner in the shade Buff. And then I go over that with this Buxom Full Force Lipstick. This is in the shade Supermodel. This is, like, turned into my new favorite nude. It is a lot more pink than I usually go for with nudes. Usually I go for a more peachy vibe, but I've been really, really loving this lipstick lately. And top that bad boy with this right here from Fenty. This is the new Fenty Gloss Balm Creams. So it is the same gloss balm formula, except for instead of it being shimmery and shiny, it is a cream formula. Let me, I'm trying to grab this without showing you my hair on accident. So let me show you. This right here is the, I'll go side by side so you can see. So on top you have the Fenty Glow Cream, and then on bottom you have the Fenty Glow uh, Regular Gloss Balm. Now I will say the coloring is actually pretty different for them both being uh, Fenty Glow. The original is, I feel like, a lot darker, a lot deeper. I mean, I still love both of these, but I have been using the cream so much lately. Okay, enough rambling. I'm ready for the reveal here. Let me try to like slyly pull this ponytail out from behind me. Don't look, don't look. Okay. Are you ready? Are you ready, kids? <laughs> here we go. I've been avoiding posting myself even on my Insta stories, okay? Eek! Okay, okay, okay. Here we go, here we go. O-M-G, guys. I did it. I went for the half and half. We have one half here that is completely platinum blonde, and then we have the other half here that is this really pretty, ashy, more neutrally light brown shade. Weirdly, this is like my roots. This is the color of what my roots were. So this is like what my actual hair is supposed to look like. And then we have the 
platinum blonde over here. I could use another tone. I think I'm just going to hit it with the purple shampoo tonight and it should be fine. But oh my god, guys. I can't even. Let me back up and show you so you can see. Still kept the length. My hair never fits fully in frame. I still kept the length. I just added a few more layers in, but I went for that full, perfectly half and half platinum in brown. I love it so, so much. And for some reason, even though it's like crazy different, I still feel really comfortable. And I think it's because like, this is what my hair is supposed to look like. And this is platinum, which is what I'm used to. I've had blonde hair like this multiple times. I love it so much. I honestly am so surprised with how much I really do like it. I have been looking at photos of this hair for a while. I'll put a few people on screen. I know that uh, at Lee or Ash Levi, I think is her new Instagram handle. She had this hair that was like what really inspired me is I really liked the way her hair looked and uh, Jamie Genevieve has done hair like this. There's just a bunch of people online. This is like really trendy right now. I think this half and half hair and I saw it and I was like, it's the best of both worlds. It's kind of my natural hair color, which is what I originally was going to go back to. For the past like two years, I think I've slowly been like, let's just do my natural hair color. Like, let's just go back to brown. And then I saw this and I was like, ah, perfect. Because there's always a part of me that is always and forever going to want platinum blonde hair. I will always want that. That is just like me at my core is bright blonde hair, but I wanted a little switch up. I wanted something new going into 2021. Most people in my life haven't seen me with different hair, like ever. Like my best friend has never seen me with hair that wasn't blonde hair. Her daughter has never seen me with hair that wasn't blonde hair. Obviously, if she hasn't, her daughter wasn't. My husband has only ever seen me with blonde hair. When we met, I had bleach blonde hair. We got married, I had platinum hair. I had blonde hair just like a week ago. So it was really exciting for him too. All of my friends, like... My brother has never even really seen me with different hair and he was like, you're going to do what to your hair? Like, you're going to go half and half? Like, that's crazy. And man, my sister-in-law did it for me. She's a hairdresser. I've mentioned that before. She always does my hair. She did an amazing, amazing job. She got the line so clean and crisp. Now, I am still terrible at doing my hair, so I haven't fully uh, parted it as perfectly as she did, but I'm working on it. That's one of my 2021 goals is to get better at doing my hair. Last year, my goal was to take better care of my hair. And I think this year, my goal is to get better at actually styling my hair. But you guys, I can't stop looking at myself in the mirror. I just feel so cool. Like, honestly, I just feel cool with this hairstyle. I love it so much. I think it looks so dope when I have it like in a ponytail and I twist it. I put it in braids the other day and it looked like, like swirled ice cream or something. I just think it looks so dope. So cute. I love it so much. Like, this is me now. This is me. Two-toned hair. <sighs> I'm obsessed. Now, I don't know how long I'm going to be keeping my hair this two-toned, but as of right now, I'm obsessed. This is who I am now. This is my new identity. Like, I can't... This is just who I am. You know what I mean? And I love it so much. Like, I am so happy with it. And as I was sitting in the chair getting my hair done the whole entire time. I was like, what if I hate it? What if I don't like it? What if I look at myself in the mirror and I'm just like, it's not me. Like, what do I do? What do I do? And my husband really like gave me the pep talk. He really was like, stop being a little bitch. Okay. Just do it. You're a grown ass woman. Change your hair up. I'm tired of hearing you talk about it. Be about it. And so I did it. And I love it. I think it looks so cool. I think it like really suits me so well. I was so stressed out that I put on a full face of makeup before I even got my hair done and like especially when you do your hair at home like you don't get your hair washed nicely and for this like hairstyle like I had to wash out one half and then the other half and it was like a hot mess that I had like no makeup on like all that was left was my mascara running down my face but I was like I need it I need it for when I look at myself in the mirror I feel like I'm myself and I looked at myself and I was just like this hairstyle was meant for you it's meant for me I just feel it I love it so, so much. I can't even stop looking at myself. I'm so excited to post about it on Instagram and on TikTok and everywhere. Like, hair transformation 2021. Coming for you, girl.
I can't stop looking at myself. This video might be a little boring, but honestly, I just wanted to come out here and show it and tell you all about it. We did, um, now I don't know hair. Okay. I did go to cosmetology school. I do have my license in aesthetics, but I did not go for hair. So I don't know that much about hair, but on the blonde side here, we just fully bleached it. Roots tip, bleach it all. And on the dark side here, I believe we mixed a seven neutral with a seven ash. I think, I think that's how we did it. Um, if you're curious, I will actually ask my sister-in-law about it and I'll put in the comments down below what we use like color wise on both sides. I know that that doesn't work for everyone because like my base color was a certain way. So like, listen, I'm not all about hair. Okay. I don't know, but I will put in the comment box down below exactly like what colors we used and like what we did, but I just had to come on here and share it with you guys. Part of me wanted to just like film a regular video and not mention it, <laughs> but I was like, that's so lame. Like I got to say something. So that's why this video was a little short and sweet today. I just wanted to show you a couple of throwback pics of my hair show you my new hair, show you how excited I am for my new hair. Like I honestly cannot stop looking at myself and I can't stop brushing my hair. Like when your hair is fresh and new, it just feels good. Like I just feel good. I feel like I reinvented myself. Even though I'm exactly the same, like my hair being like this, I'm like, oh, I'm a brand new woman. So that's it guys. I just wanted to come on here and share with you my hair. I love it so much. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Happy 2021. Happy new year. Subscribe to my channel. If you're new here, I post every Tuesday and Friday. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.